Hi, it's Wes. And I'm Amy. And welcome to our kitchen. Today we're making Chinese style hash brown called tu dou bing. You will see the ingredients for tu dou bing on the right, and on the left, there's another healthier version using zucchini. Both of these variations start out the same way on a box shredder. Be careful, go slow, and watch your knuckles. In the end, you are left with nicely shredded vegetables that look like this. For the potatoes, the first thing you need to do is squeeze out the excess liquid. You need to do this before you can move on. You see Amy doing it here. So for the Chinese style tu dou bing, you don't need to add a lot of things. You just add green onion for some flavor. And you see an egg and a quarter cup of flour. Now that helps give the tu dou bing its texture. Once you have a texture that looks like this, you're ready to cook them up. We use cast iron here, but non-stick pan could work also. Amy really likes to use chopsticks to cook in the kitchen, um, but use your implement of choice. Um, she's making them about three to four inches in size, but again, that's completely up to you. This little shake is a good way to make sure they don't stick and make sure the oil spreads evenly. Cook them until they are golden brown and they are ready to be served. These are delicious just by themselves, or you can top them with something too. Ketchup is good. Mustard mayo works. Sriracha is fine too. Or an egg. Or anything. Here's the zucchini version, but it's done much the same way. We are using onion and parmesan here, but you can leave the parmesan out if you like. So again with a quarter cup of flour, but you might have to play with it to get a texture that looks just like this. This will cook much softer than the potatoes, but as you can see here, you can still get a nice golden brown crispy exterior. As for serving, we really like topping it just with a refreshing dollop of Greek yogurt, but you can get fancier if you want. That's it for this time. If you haven't yet, please subscribe for more content just like this. And if you have, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya!